Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. You're at Delp Chanel's Forex World, where we talk about celebrities everyday folks reason why i can because i can can and i can 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 i can can and i will okay well we are just throwing out a video over here because we heard something about blaze steak and seafood it was in the youtube news all right and i'm just throwing out some samples of some generators maybe todd will want to invest in one because the lights go out so much at the OLG camp. Mm hmm And I just gave them something to look at. Just a few models. The highest one could be around oh, almost seven thousand. Uh and these ones they go around for like three, four, five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So those are just some ideas, Todd. If you want to step up your game. And stop lying saying um, it doesn't go down all that much. It's, it's, it's expensive. But the ones I was seeing, they weren't even $10,000. So I'm like, Todd, Todd, Todd. This was your idea. And uh, you're selling food over there. And I heard you got to be excellent. But some people that are true food critics... And sanitation and all those good things. They say you would want to have an A. Okay? Because B, you're just barely meeting the standards out here. Now, what I heard in the news, okay? News you can use. Is that you didn't have any soap. Soap dispenser container that had soap in there for you to wash your hands. Yes, <clears throat> that's what they don't put out on y'all now. I'm like, I don't know about you you and Ken in this restaurant. I mean, I know it was your idea, and it probably was yours solely. Uh, because you weren't doing that at the time. You just, like, twiddling your thumbs here and there and trying to figure out what you're going to do with the next big money scheme. Uh, or, or uh, what do you call it, um, project you want to work on at this time. And so, you know, you, you just, you know how you are, Todd. You just start things and you don't really finish. You know, just like that apartment you got in New Jersey, I think it was. You you never finished that one either. Okay. And then Candy looking at you like you're crazy. Like, she ain't got time to be going up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. He don't have time to uh, invest in going up there and getting that, um, Apartment fix. Now, my thing, how I'm thinking, Candy going, well, Todd's going to end up selling that place because Candy's like, I don't care if you turn it into a museum, okay? I'm not going to stay in here because you were up here and around here and doing whatever you had to do with your girlfriend or somebody you're going to marry. Who knows, okay? Who knows what you taught? So, but it just brings me back to, uh, I mean, I, I have a strong inclination that Candace is going to make you or suggest that you very strongly sell that apartment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're going to do it because that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Or better yet, a lot of people were saying sublease it. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody in there and rent it out. Let it be an Air Airbnb. You know, because Candace like, mm -mm, it's a nice view, but I don't like none of it. I ain't going to lie. Those sterile, wandering around, staircase going upstairs. Oh, uh-uh. You wouldn't even make it if you drunk too much. 
You wouldn't make it upstairs. Just have to sit your ass or lay your ass on the floor. Okay, if you couldn't make it to the couch. All right? That's when you stupidly drunk. You got to be helped in. Okay? And supervised. And you probably want to start singing. And, and you might want to start dancing. And you probably want to do like Kenya running around the place. That's when you get stupid drunk. Okay, so you need to have very good friends around you or family members because people could take advantage of you when you're in that state. But we know Candy don't drink that much. I mean, she try to taste here and there, but she's really not a, a drinker, such as me. You know, I can't, well, I can't drink in anyway now because of the medication that I'm taking. And, uh, and it prohibits, you know, consuming alcohol because it can cause, you know, a stroke or heart attack. You know, I take blood pressure medication. You know, stuff. So you can't keep, can't mix here and there. So I just keep it to the ginger ale. But yeah, Todd, Todd, Todd. Because I'm talking to Todd, I ain't talking to Candy. Because like I said, I really believe this restaurant idea was Todd. And he saw it for what it was. He envisioned it. And then when it came down for him to actually do work, he didn't show up and show out, you know. Oh, so I'm just strictly talking to Todd. You know, that's why I got the visuals of the generator. Because I'm sure he still ain't got that situation taken care of. And I sure did forget the, um, what was the guy's name? The GM that was acting all crazy and wanted to fire everybody when he got there. Getting into it with Shandrika. I can't think of that man's name to save my life now. But him, how did y'all get another okay score when technically he's the GM? Well, I, well, wait a minute. He may not be the GM because I think he's the GM over at um, uh, OLG. The guy, y'all know who the guy I'm talking about. I can't just think of his name because he really was boring as hell and, and too arrogant. That's why I probably quickly forgot about him. But um, we don't know who your manager, your GM over there or is. It's the other man taking care of both, overseeing both projects, the OLG as well as uh, steak blaze steak and seafood because honey what they got in the news is just not you news we want to use okay it's just not news we want to use but since it's in the news we just thought we were going to talk about it you know my daughter actually gave it to me it says uh real housewives of atlanta star candy burris I know, Candy, I always have to put your name in it because you're the one that's be carrying low. You know what I'm saying? So it should read um, Todd Tucker. Okay, but it, we ain't going to go that far with it. We're just going to stick to the story and what the story is giving us. Okay, it says a uh, restaurant receives a B health score, rating one year after failing inspection. But I, okay, so y'all must got okay with that. And they were letting y'all able to uh, open back up. Even though I think Candy had stressed that she closed the restaurant until all those infractions were made right. So, because I didn't think an inspection go from year to year, especially if you had trouble before. I think they go and visit you another time and then I think you go year to year. Y'all let me know. I'm not sure because last restaurant I worked in, I was 15 years old. Okay, and stayed till I was 18 and I got the hell out of there. All right, that was Kentucky Fried Chicken on Glenwood, girl. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to go on into the story that Radar Online had put out on Miss Candy Burris. But we're going to let Todd take the file for this one. Because, you know, she's the heavy hitter. She's the one everybody knows. She's out there in the limelight. So, of course, they're going to drag her name through the mud. But over here at the fam, you know, because I, you know, I kind of am like a fair weather friend with Candy. Uh, I can get with some of her stuff. Mm, a little of her stuff. And then sometimes I'm skeptical and I have to come and do correction. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not understanding the situation correctly. But, uh, yeah, she's sort of my friend in my imaginary mind. Oh, she, not friend. She family, okay? Because I tell you, if she ever took um, Bertha and Aunt Nora and Mama Joyce away from us, child, I think I have a fit. I think I would have a fit. But anyway, the story reads... We're going to just say KB. We're going to put a name out there because, you know, we know it ain't her fault. It's just the people she keep hiring. They don't want to do their damn, their job. So, technically, that's when Tasha should be coming in and firing folks, okay? Because it should not make, you will make news all the time for bad ratings. And I don't think you want that because then people, you know, that really don't want to get sick, they ain't going to come there. You're going to have an empty house. 
restaurant over there. An empty restaurant. No patrons. Because they feel like, why should they come when you butt ass naked? If your staff is butt ass naked, tacky, stinking, and, and, and unsanitized. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> And I know it, it don't take that much to go get some dish detergent or some hand lotion uh, and some hand uh, anti bear what is it called? Bacterial, antibacterial uh, disinfectant soap. Yeah. Y'all know where I'm going with it. Okay. Get you some Dial or Dove up in there is what I'm saying. If you can't get that, get some Irish Spring. Hell. But anyway, it says KB and her husband, Todd Tucker. Has been making improvements behind the scenes at one of their Atlanta restaurants and have gotten rid of its C health score rating. Radar has learned. The radar be nosy as hell. They be going up in the woodworks. They be checking every file in the courthouse for in and everything. I, I tell you, paparazzi just be rolling in Georgia. They just be rolling. But anyway, according to the official records obtained by RadarOnline.com earlier this month, a representative from the Georgia Department of Public Health visited KB's Blaze Restaurant. Okay? All righty. The inspection ended with the spot receiving an 87 out of 100 scoring or the score being a B rating. Okay? It's just like three points away from 90, huh? Three points away from 90. Now, what were the infractions? I just want to know. I just want to know, okay? We're going to move on, and we're going to find out. The only violation listed included no soap in the employee hand wash sink. Oh, candy, 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 candy. Candy, girl. Candy, girl. What are you doing? Who are you hiring? Todd. We're going to put this on you. Yes, Todd. Tucker. Tiny Tim Todd Tucker. We're going to put it on you. We're going to put everything on KB. We ain't going to do it. We ain't going to do it. Okay? This is your idea, Todd. What are you going to do about it, Todd? What are you going to do about that? Because if you heard that as a restaurant uh, connoisseur, if you went and you had to pay X amount of money, you expected the customer service to be top notch, the food to be un, what do you call it, just fantastic, I should say, mouth watering, dripping with every juices of whatever meal you had, wanting you to get a doggy bag. You know what I'm saying? You need to order seconds for your lunch the next day. Remarkable, phenomenal. That's what you expect when you go to a top tier restaurant. And I hear the prices are top tier over there. But the service is lackluster. You see what I'm saying? The two don't match. And they should go together like a hand in glove. Fitting perfectly nicely together. Yes. But we got some infractions going on. Let me read it one more time. I might need to read it for the people in the back that's kind of slow. Okay. Come on out of the bushes. Come on down from the trees. Get up off the sidewalk. And come on in this house now. Because this is a travesty. This is a violation of trust that consumers put in Todd's hands to come to a restaurant and not get sick because somebody don't went into the restroom, came out, didn't wash their hands because no soap is there probably either, and it's going to start playing with the food, you know, mixing up a hamburger here, same nasty as hands, okay? It says, hmm, the only violations... Listed included no soap in the employee hand wash sink. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? See, we're gonna blame talk. We're gonna we're gonna blame this on Tiny Tim Todd Tucker, okay? Because it's his idea, his vision, his restaurant, him that named after his little baby girl. That probably none of them are going to even phantom of taking over that legacy. But, you know, that's how bad kids are. You know, they don't understand the dream. That you're doing it all for them. You're leaving them, you know, equity. You're leaving them financial stable. You see what I'm saying? But, I, mm, I, I just don't see it. Ace, I can see him in movies or something. Uh, Riley, she like, mm-mm. She want to do that lawyer thing. 
She ain't come nowhere near that restaurant. Neither one of them. Because that's not her passion. That's not her dream. That is not what she signed up for. Kayla, they shit in the fashion world. Ain't, Kayla ain't coming down now to be in no hot ass kitchen cooking for other people. Mm-hmm. Running around here and can't wash your hands because ain't no soap up and down. Dodd, what we doing over there? Get the shit together. Y'all to be ashamed of yourself for it to come out like that and people blasted it out on social media. We ain't bring, we ain't, we're not blaming K people. We're not, we're not going to do it. We're not going to blame Candace because she already done told us this was your idea. This was your formulation of bringing this vision into fruition. And she, you know, I'm sure she talked to you very sternly when it came out that y'all had failed. And then she had to take it amongst herself to shut shit down, to get it right and get it back moving. Uh, but we're going to move on into the article a little bit further. It says later the inspector said they observed fish and seafood being thawed in both prep sinks. The items were supposed to be in different sinks and the issue was resolved during the inspection. Well, what do you think they were going to do? I mean, that, that, that was giving you a present right there because te technically what they saw, they should have reported. And gave you another score lesser than that 87 you got. So I'm like, Todd, you ain't paying these people, are you? You're not paying off these people, right? Because I don't care how good your food picture that you take of the, you know, menus and something, certain, um, what do you call it, food categories. You take it and, you know, publicize it and stuff so people can get a look-see of what you have to offer. Um, then it's not coming there for the ambiance. They're coming out for the food. The food, Todd. Now, you know you don't want to get too many people ending up sick on the same night because infractions was going on. I mean, you need to stay at home. You need to be daddy daycare, and you need to watch both of them restaurants because they were your vision. OLG was your vision as well. You can't keep running with candy. You can't keep producing and shit. Or you just need to sell the restaurants over to somebody else. And let it and keep it moving because it don't look like you and Candy are gonna settle down and stay in Georgia and make your profit here. Candy seems she's on a a, 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 who, a millionaire billionaire type status that she she got to keep climbing, got to keep climbing. But I think she did this for you, Todd. I think these are your baby projects, and she don't want to come out on camera because that's the type of woman she is. She, she would she love you? She love you. And when she love you and she know you fucked up, it's going to be handled off camera. Y'all may not go speaking for a couple of days or whatnot, but it is what it is. Somebody got to be the bigger person and tell the person that's wrong in the scenario. Because I don't really think, say, you know, Aunt Bertha, Aunt Nora, Mama jo Well, hell, we can stop with Ma uh, Nora and, and Aunt Bertha. If anything happens to them, the good Lord called them home. Oh, they can't. They're going to be wanting to be interested in that restaurant no more. It's a good piece of property that she can definitely sell because uh, the kids are really too young to decide what they really want to do. But right now, they probably say, hell no, nah, I ain't going to do it. I don't even like going over there. I'll, just bring me a dog in back. Bring me a, 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 a plate home or whatever from either or, Blaze or OLG. But I'm not going in no kitchen. I'm not trying to train nobody how to run no restaurant. I'm not a restaurant but here. I am not a restauranteur, but we'll move on. We're going to move on now. We're going to move on. I ain't going to tear it too much longer because I went longer than I wanted to go. It says other violations including mop water being dumped on the ground outside. The back door when it should be dumped down a drain. Now, what the hell going on? Well, I knew one time we were looking at the OLG. Uh, the, the, the drain in the kitchen was uh, clogged up. So are we still having that problem? Are we still having that problem? It should have been rectified once we saw it on TV. And then, why are you throwing mop water outside? That's unsanitary. Damn. Oof, I kill you. I don't, but you know, when you leave workers to their own devices, they would take it in their hands and do what they feel is right. So maybe they felt it was right at the time. Even though... The inspector was there watching everything. Girl, you got some G's running around now. But they ain't running their restaurant correctly. Oh, 
boy, they think about, you know, when they going to get home, when they going to go out for a party. They, ain't, they just throwing caution to the wind. Got them one, um, one worker got two pieces of seafood and some steak up in the, um, the sink. No one else supposed to be together. And you got one nut over there dr- dr- throwing the mop water out. Throwing the mop water out right in front. <sighs> or in the back of the restaurant. But still probably was causing people out there looking. Oh, okay. That's almost like serving a mop water up or, or a glass of water. That's pretty much what, what's going on, Candy. People are just not pleased. They're not pleased. But we go on. We go on. We keep, we keep trucking. Overall, the inspection was a success based on the past couple of visits by the health department. I know because the last ones were unpassable. And, I, and with these infractions, I'm telling you. It ain't looking good, especially going back to the Uno, we come, Uno, room and Uno, Uno something. Uno the stress, okay? Anyway, my question is, why is there no soap, no hand soap and sanitizer to be exact in the employee's area where the sink is? Why? Did they take it somewhere else? Because they had to, you know, the water wasn't running there properly and they took it somewhere else. Because I know, you, y'all ain't that dumb to not have no type of uh, hand cleaning stuff. I know y'all ain't that crazy. But anyway, we go on, we go on. As Radar Online first reported in May of 2021, an inspector visited Blaze and hit it with a failing rating. The report said they observed employees mishandling raw foods. Well, it looked like they still mishandling raw foods because they had two separate uh, selections of meat in the same place trying to unthought. I can't. I can't. I never will. All right. Understand the foolishness that's going on at their restaurant. Okay, but hey, when the owner's away, the employees will play <laughs> all day. All right, okay. Observe employees switch from working with raw food to ready women. Observed employees switch from working with raw food to ready to eat food without washing hands. Here we go. But hey, they ain't had no soap, so I guess it was just. Ooh, anything was on. Ready, Freddy, uh, we call E. coli poisoning. Uh, I don't know. Malaria, whatever you could possibly think of, of people handling two separate bloody meats and then running over there trying to uh, handle some ready to eat stuff. <laughs> I can't. And I never will. All righty. Food handler touched raw oysters and raw salmon and then proceeded to handle ready-to-eat leafy greens with the same gloves on improperly, the inspector wrote. Now, are you kidding me? Hmm. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. The, the foolishness that is going on here. One of y'all got to stop and, and get get off the road and stay at the restaurant. Or y'all just need to close shit down before somebody get hurt. And when I say hurt, somebody goes to the hospital because you, y'all done poison them. Because that's what you're doing when you're, not proper, when you're not properly doing hand sanitizing. Okay? Somebody could die. And do you want that on your uh, conscience? KB, do you want that on your conscience? That's all I'm saying. But anyway... Further, the inspector said employees were not properly storing food at the correct temperatures. Observed that the both prep coolers and the line across from the ovens have food that is out of temperature above 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the report said. Hmm. KB temporarily shut down the spot to fix the issues and then reopened within days. A couple of weeks later, the inspector came out for another review. Blaze received a C rating after several issues were raised during the visit. See what I'm saying? Just keeps getting uglier by the minute. Keeps getting uglier by the minute. And both of them talking about they want to be producers and doing other things. And you got folks, you know, getting sick, you know, having food poisoning. My name is Dennis. This is too, it's too much. Sheriff, it's too, to too much. Wait a minute. Where did that come from? And I can tell you, Brian Kemp's new permit needs okay. care of Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay. But anyway, they received a C that visit. 
observed high potential hazardous food received at less than 135 degrees of Fahrenheit, the report said. Other problems included unlabeled spray bottles of chemicals, expired buttermilk, issues with the handling of the fish, and even notice condensation, wait a minute, condensation, condensation leaking through sealing from the unit. So you mean you got antifreeze leaking in the uh, establishment, girl? You you got a hole somewhere. Girl, what's going on over there? Oh, Lord. Candy and Todd also own a second restaurant nearby called Old Lady Game, which has a C rating. I'm like, you are A1 star, but you got C to F mentality running around now. Who you employing to be over your establishment? I don't understand that. I don't, I don't understand it. But uh, we're not here to understand it. We're just here to report. And, you know, like I said, I I'm not blaming KB. I'm not. I'm not. Because this was not her ideal. This was not her total role. This is um, all Tiny Tim Todd Tucker's fault. That's who I'm blaming it on. I want him to get it straight. Or well, they're going to be without a restaurant. And they're going to have to be taking care of some people. Because I'm pretty sure when folks get food poisoned and they know your restaurant was in the news uh, for several infractions, who do you think they're going to knock on they're going to knock on your door, Todd Tucker. They're going to knock on your door, Todd Tucker. Okay? Not KBs. Mm -mm. They're going to knock on your door. But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was from Radar Online. Okay? Online. It's Radar Online. So, y'all get busy. And put y'all comments down there. Because this is a shame and a scandal. It's a shame and a scandal. Ooh, and I had wanted to go so many times, but I was like, mm-mm, I got to look at the ratings again. I got to look at the ratings. And I got a weak stomach, too. I can't take it. I can't. I can't. And right now, I can't even tell somebody to go over there. Because that's Todd Tucker over there. Todd Tucker playing games. He won't get the generator. He won't hire the right people and make them be accountable of every time the inspection comes in. They need to pass, okay? So that means everything need to be top shape, spick and span, and ready to eat off the floors at a drop of the hat. And you might, I'm gonna say, you don't understand. Sure. But that's all I got, guys. Y'all remember to no hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, share and like my videos, okay? And get down in them comments. Y'all know I like talking to y'all. Y'all know it, okay? And I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.